All right, hi, I'm Professor Juan Serrano. I'm Professor Cliff Seminario. And I'm head instructor John Boone of KempoFit. And of course, we're here to, of course, uh, thank our partner, uh, John Boone, and student, uh, who is helping us out also with the filming of these uh, techniques. Uh, John Boone has been training a long time with us for about a good six years. Uh, well, more I would say like maybe four years, but prior before that, training out in Canada with uh, Chris Snell and also Michael Bagwell, um, two uh, very well uh, for, uh, trained martial artists in the Art of American Kempo. And of course, seeing the opportunity to be able to come out to the West Coast and get a little bit more basis of the art, that's what Mr. Boone has done. And now he has his own school called uh, Kempo Fitness. Kempo uh, Fit. Kempo Fit, uh, which is located on um, Eagle Rock, California, right by Occidental College, as close to Pasadena as you can be without being in Pasadena. <laughs> I mean, this guy could actually, you know, throw water out of the window and hit Pasadena floor, <laughs> you know? So it's that close. And please, if you guys are in Eagle Rock, come check John out. Come check out the school. There's a lot you guys can definitely learn from him, uh, from the art. And um, it's just uh, part of the journey, you know, becoming a better person, a better martial artist as well. And just share it. So uh, I hope that you guys uh, learn a lot of the techniques that we were doing before in terms of yellow, orange, purple, blue, and now green belt, of course, what's happening is we're taking it just a little bit of a pace a step ahead, okay? Learning the fundamentals that we did in orange and yellow, putting them together with the coordination within our purple belt, learning the proper fluidity with what we did in our blue belt. Now green belt is actually asking us to apply the speed that is induced behind this. So when you're learning the techniques, it doesn't mean that you can't do blue belt fast or purple belt fast, but you know, it's always good to break the technique or the art and the base of the system in different aspects in terms of stances or coordination or fluidities. This way you're building it up and little by little you're nurturing and, and, and neutralizing all those good fundamentals that you're learning about the art. Okay, so when you're doing the green belt techniques, don't just do them in speed, I'm not just trying to say that, but now apply your basic fundamentals in there. Have the coordination with it, have the fluidity, so this way the speed is not going to be something you're going to look for, it's just going to be there. Okay, and then of course we we'll look forward to you when we we'll see brown belt when we start working on the power. Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to do Encounter with Danger. This is a technique that's a little bit different. It involves a break fall. Now you're going to have a good time with this technique. This technique is a progression. We had parting wing, which is more of like a fleeting kind of push like that. Uh, we have sneaking talent, which, which I do is like more of a leaning push. The guys are trying to walk out the door. Now the guys shove you right onto your rump. Okay? So as you fall, you're going to break your fall so you don't break your head, and you're going to counterattack as you fall. Very interesting technique. So what's going to happen is as he pushes, I'm trying to step back with my right foot and catch my balance, okay? Because you're strong like you're trying to catch your balance. He pushed me too hard, he's too tall, which I know nothing about. He's too tall, he shoves me down on my butt. I'm gonna break my fall, kick him in the groin. So as I do, I fall back, I slow my fall down by squatting on my leg. As I break my fall, I kick, one, okay? From here, I go on my left side, I'm gonna do a right slicing knife edge to his jaw or to his knee, whatever way you wanna go, up. From here, I plant down onto my stomach, I turn up on the ball of my foot, and do a left rising back kick to his groin, to his chest, whatever I can hit. I swing my leg across that. Try it again. He goes to push, I fall. One, he runs right into that shot. Next move, two, slicing knife edge kick. Carry the momentum all the way around, back kick. You want to be tricky as he pushes? You can shoot a two kick in there too as you fall. If you're tricky. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do it as a three speed. 